Dennis Lemieux and his two sisters learned to skate on their parents' Saskatchewan farm. His mother brought him his first pair of skates when he was four years old. On the windswept prairie, no bigger joy existed than hockey, recalls his sister Monique. The children attended a French Catholic boarding school. In the evenings, his sisters watched their little brother skate at the school's outdoor rink and snuck him chocolates from the school canteen. At his mother's passing in 1961, Dennis moved home. Just 12 years old, he proved a capable farmhand, supportive son, and promising hockey player. In 1968, at the prompting of their parish priest, Dennis enrolled at Bemidji State University with his newly built indoor arena. As a freshman, Dennis had high hopes for making the hockey team. I'll do my very best, he wrote home to his father. I hear it's a great club, and the loud, cheering fans pack the arena. A few weeks later, things were looking up. He scored twice in an inner squad game and wrote his dad that he was joining the big club. Wearing number eight, Dennis thrilled fans with his hockey finesse. He could dangle, says line mate Bruce Falk, and he could score goals. In 1971, he scored six goals in one game against Wisconsin Superior. When he played, he was all business, says teammate Jude Bouillon. One time, he jumped to check someone and flew over the boards. We thought he was hurt, then we saw one hand and then another, and he peeks over and jumps back on the ice. Off ice, no one can forget Dennis and his professor, Dr. Chen, who struggled to pronounce Lemieux. Once after an exam, Dr. Chen declared, Mr. Malou, you flunk again. Or so the story goes. He was always the life of the party, recalls teammate Bruce Falk. In four years, Dennis helped lead the Beavers to three national championships. His father was his biggest fan. Dennis posted 129 points on 59 goals and 70 assists in his Beaver career and remains 22nd on BSU's all-time scoring list. His teammates elected him captain in his senior year. Dennis graduated in 1972 with a degree in French and a minor in economics. Named an All-American in 1971, he is one of BSU hockey's 50 legends for 50 years. He played four seasons of minor pro hockey out east where he met and married Jan, his Boston girl. In 1976, Dennis and Jan moved to the farm to assist his father. Together they welcomed children Nicole, Danielle, Colin, Clark, and Ashley. Dennis, a good father, farmer, and community leader, remains a much respected hockey figure in Saskatchewan. In 1985, at age 35, he lost his life, but never his place in the hearts of his teammates, family, and friends. He was our joy of life, says Sister Monique. His children and many of his family, which includes nine grandchildren and one great-grandchild, are here today to celebrate his hockey legacy. He's worth it, says teammate Jude Bouillon. He was just a regular kid with a lot of talent, and he loved to play hockey.